Welcome back to Rebel Health. I'm Ellen Vora, holistic psychiatrist practicing in New York City. And I just want to talk a little bit about self-love. And that's a big topic, and we're not going to cover the whole beast today. But I want to talk about one aspect of it, which is that I've noticed that with my patients who struggle with self-love, um, one thing about this is that in order to feel like you love yourself, you actually have to really behave in a way that earns your own respect. Here's what I mean. So. Um, say you don't treat somebody well or you selfishly want to get you know what you want out of a situation and say it happens it works out for you you got what you wanted or even you didn't treat somebody well but nobody important really noticed um, you can feel like oh that's a freebie um, but it's not a freebie there's no freebie because you are witnessing yourself comport yourself and how you go through your life and if you're not acting in a way that's kind and non-harming and considerate of other people's needs, believe it or not, you're witnessing all of that and it is chipping it away at your ability to love yourself. So um, next time you're at a crossroads where you might do right by somebody else or do wrong or whether you might be selfless, or you might be selfish, um, just consider taking the choice that's actually um, the higher path because that is actually the work that goes into cultivating self-love. Uh, and so, grand scheme, you actually, you know, if you think you got your way when you got what you wanted selfishly out of a situation, trust me that you get your way so much more grand scheme in your life if you like who you are. Um, if you're someone who garners respect and admiration and credibility in your community. So do your best to behave to your highest calling and you'll like yourself more, you'll actually be happier in your life um, and that's one small piece of self-love. To do the work of self-love, you do the work of making the right choice and doing the right thing. So hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next time on Rebel Health.